Your first assignment is to write a function to compute the doomsday method and use that to calculate the number of days till next Thursday. Does that make sense? And I'd like you to use the doomsday method if you can. The assignment will appear on the schedule on Friday or Saturday. If you're an experienced programmer, I expect you'll have knocked it over in a couple of days. But if you're not an experienced programmer, you've got a couple of weeks to do it. But everyone should certainly look at it and start it this weekend. And before the assignment comes out, you should make sure you've compiled something in C. It will take you at least one or two more tute labs if you haven't programmed so you can understand what's going on. But as a challenge for you now, I'd like you to try and work out just yourself, start trying to work out what day of the year it is, what day of the week it is for days this year, just to check you understand the doomsday method. And if you don't understand it, Google it. Last thing I wanted to show you, when we have only seconds left, is I wanted to show you how to write a function in C. We've talked about what functions are, but how do you write them? Let's just have a quick look. Let me dim down. Here's our main function. All right, so here's my C program. So I'm hoping this weekend your homework is, if you can already program, you'll start on the assignment. If you can't already program, you'll practice doing the doomsday method, and you'll make sure you can compile some stuff. You'll practice compiling. Here's how we make a function. Remember, a function takes some inputs and puts out an output. Let's write the function days till next Thursday. Let's write that one. So it's going to return a number, an int, so we write that first. And then we say the name of the function, days till next Thursday. And then we say what it takes in. And what it takes in is an int day of the week. Yep, so we're doing this function down... So I've now told C what it's taking in, which is one thing, the day of the week, and what it's putting out, which is one other number, which is the number of days till next Thursday. And we say days to go is our variable we're going to have, and it's int. And someone worked out the formula for that. What is it? The days to go equals 7 minus day of the week. And then what are we going to return from the function? Return days to go. So this function here is computing. It's taking in this value, the day of the week. It's computing the day of the week, the day's number of days to go, which is 7 minus the day of the week. It's storing it in a variable called days to go, which we're declaring to be an integer and setting memory aside for. Oh, previously I've done that in two lines. You might look more familiar if I break it into two lines. So C doesn't mind it if you do it all in one. Days to go. We're computing it, and then we return the value out of the function. So we take the value in, we do some computation, we cook the bagel, we, we heat the toast up, and then we take something out. We get the toast coming out the other end, and that's an int coming out. The first thing here tells us what comes out. And what we return, what comes out, is the value of days to go. So there's a very, very simple function to compute it. Now, what's wrong with this function, the way I've written it? Can you see something incredibly ugly about it? Yes. Seven. seven. What's seven supposed to be? Days in week. Days in week. Oh, that's better. And up the top, I'd say hash define days in week equals seven. No! Seven. Semicolon. No! <laughs> okay, let's compile it. Woo! All right. Now, if I wanted to use the function, I'd say uh, printf there are percent %d days from day four. 
And then, oh, and what am I going to print out? Days. And I'm going to declare int days. And I'm going to say days equals, and now I'm going to call the function. I'm going to say, I want to calculate how many days is it from day four till I get to Thursday. So I'm going to say days equals, what, what did I call the function? I can't even remember what it's called. Days till next Thursday. From day four. Okay, so I've declared a variable called days. I've given it a value, and here's what here this magic line here, here's where I'm calling the function. I'm passing the value four into the function, into the toaster, and whatever it returns is being stored in days, then I'm printing out days. What's gonna happen when I try and run this is I'll probably get an error message. Let's have a look at why. Implicit declaration, you know this error message, we get this all the time. Implicit declaration of function days till next Thursday. It's saying, what's it saying? I've never heard of that function called days till next Thursday. Well, it doesn't, because it starts at the top and works down, and by the time it gets to this line, it still hasn't seen the function, because I didn't write the function till below. So all I need to do is, at the top, tell it what the function looks like, and then it'll be happy. So I just put that here. I just write the function, what it looks like, but I end it with a semicolon rather than giving the body of the function. That's called a declaration of the, of the function. So I've given here, um, uh, I've said what the function is here, and now when it compiles, it'll know what the function is, even though it doesn't know how it's worked out, it knows what it looks like, what inputs it has, what outputs it has. The year you're interested, oh, we left that old stuff in, 9001. It's not a leap year. And there are three days from day four, and is that correct? What day is day four? Uh, Sunday, Monday, we can work that out because the days are running intuitively. How many days from Monday till next Thursday? Three. Three. And what did we say? Three. Woohoo! It was right. Okay. So I'll paste this up on the, on the wiki so you can see this code and repeat it yourself. Go, go, go. Have lots of fun. Experiment, experiment, experiment.